Hi and welcome. I hope you are good. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about a question from a string manipulation. And the question is uh, how to return only the strings that contain a particular word using R. So to explain this question, let's take a scenario. Uh, I have a vector of strings that contains some of the movies of the Marvel Universe. So I've taken 10 movies uh, starting from the first release that was Iron Man and then Captain America, Thor and so on. So uh, this could be uh, a column from a data frame as well before a, because a, a column from a data frame is also a vector. So the expected outcome for our question would be, so let's say we want to return strings that have having the word captain. So we'll get, uh, so here we have Captain America, the first Avenger and Captain America, the winter soldier. Both of these strings ha have the word captain. Similarly, uh, we can search for another word, Thor. So we'll get Thor as well as Thor and the dark word. So uh, we basically we are ser searching for a particular word in a vector of strings. So let's uh, come on to the solution for this question. Uh, I'll be using, uh, I'll be solving this question using two methods using the string R package. Uh, so I'll be using the function str underscore sub subset in the string R package. Also, I'll be solving this problem using base R. So let's start with, uh, uh, with the string R package. Uh, first of all, let's load the library. String R. Okay, so let's search for or let's uh, return the strings that contain strings containing the word captain. So to do that, we'll use string str underscore subset, str underscore subset. Now the syntax for str subset is the first argument is the vector of strings in our case it's string r sorry uh, string strings s t r i n g s as uh, i have put it here strings is the vector of strings having the movies movie names so strings and the second word is the pattern now in this case it's captain c a p t a i n so when we run this function so let's let's uh, Let's first see strings. So this is the movie. These are the movie names. So when we run this function, we should get Captain America, the this one, as well as Captain America, the Winter Soldier. So we got the output. Similarly, we can search for Thor. So let's use a different uh, method. Uh, instead of giving the name here explicitly, uh, let's let's save it in an, in another variable called pattern. Let's call it pattern, and uh, the, the the word we are searching for is Thor. So we can we can do str underscore subset strings. Now this could be any name, movies or films or, or anything. So I, I have saved the, the movies in the vector named strings. And here I am searching for the pattern. So we got Thor and, and Thor, the dark word. So now coming on. So this was using the string R package uh, and using the functions str underscore subset. Now the same thing can be done using base R as well. So let's see how we can do uh, this using base R. So to search for captain or to return the strings having the word captain, we have to use grep, G-R-E-P. Now in this case, if you see here, it, it expects, uh, so the first argument is, is pattern. So pattern, whatever we have uh, taken, uh, in, in in this in this case, we, it will be uh, captain, and the X is the string in this uh, in which we are searching for that particular word. Word. So if you see the difference, str subset expects string first and the pattern as the next argument. Whereas in case of 
uh, grep the pattern comes first so i'm just writing the word here directly for thor we'll write it as pattern and then the strings now let's see what this gives it gives us the index so to to return the name of this to return the exact strings we just need to put value equal to true okay so so we got the got our expected output output similarly we can do the same thing for uh, subsetting the strings which has the word thor in it so let's do it the other way let's call the variable pattern it has the word thor and we'll do grep g r e p pattern in this case in uh, in grep pattern comes first and the strings the vector of strings comes as the next string as this uh, next uh, second argument strings and we have to go value equal to true true should be in capital okay so we got our output so uh, let's summarize the same thing whatever i have mentioned uh, just now so we can do we can find we can subset the strings based using the str underscore subset uh, function from the string r package so using string r package we have to use str underscore subset in this case the vector of strings comes first and then the pattern so pattern could be any word which we are looking for let's say in this case it's thor and using using base r we can do the same thing by g r e p grep in this case the pattern comes first and then the string and we have to give another argument value equal to true okay so uh, both these functions could be used to subset the data and for searching a particular word in a string so that's all for this video uh, i hope uh, this video was useful thank you and take care